A strange signal is coming from the Milky Way. So, what's exactly is causing it? Let's get started and try to find it out. Scientists detected some strange signals coming to Earth from our own galaxy. That's for a very short time that is, for a few milliseconds. And we still don't know what is its origin. Actually, this story starts from last year but the effort to understand the messages coming, in these signals is still going on. Because this is new. On, 28th of April, 2020. Two radio telescopes on Earth recorded the rapid wave of radio rays. It was there for a few milliseconds, then suddenly disappeared. But the discovery of these radio rays was an important discovery because for the first time, fast radio burst was detected so close to the Earth. So, how close is it? These messages are, coming from a distance of only 30,000 light years from our Earth. That is, the messages are being born from some place present in our galaxy. These strange radio signals were recorded by the Canadian Hydrogen Intensity Mapping Experiment, CHIME, and the Survey for Transient Astronomical Radio Emission 2, STAIR 2. Kayoshi Masui, Assistant Professor of Physics at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, said that when the strange radio waves arrived, CHIME's face was not even there. He still caught this radio waves. But STAIR 2 saw it recorded it, received it. There are only a few radio antennas like these two in the world that are capable of doing this kind of work. According to Prajich Orla, a doctoral researcher in physics at McGill University in Canada, fast radio bursts have always been recorded outside the galaxy. They are so many light years away that their study is difficult. But the case of fast radio burst recorded in April 2020 is different. Scientists are about to find out its origin. Chawla says that as soon as the origin of fast radio burst is known, it will lead to many new revelations about the galaxy. Earlier this happened in 2007. Duncan Lorimer and David Narkivik were studying data from Parkes Radio Dish in Australia. Even then he had come to know of one such fast radio burst. Kayoshi says that we can study the signal coming from a distance of 30,000 light years better. Whereas it is not easy to understand the radio messages coming from the distance of millions and millions of light years outside the galaxy. They appear very fast, they disappear faster than that. But we will very soon reveal the place where this strange signal is being sent. Sometimes fast radio burst is 100 million times more powerful than its sun. They can extract so much energy that the sun will release in 100 years. That too in a thousandth of a second. So imagine yourself, how powerful they are, how difficult it is to catch them in few milliseconds. Prajya, Chawla says that despite all these problems, scientists from all over the world have made a knowledge bank about fast radio burst because such radio waves explode outside our galaxy. Radio lights are visible only for a few micros to milliseconds. If all the scientists start searching for these radio waves, then it will be known that every day thousands of such messages are coming in space. It's also being hypothesized that it may be a signal sent from a neutron star. Because these are small and very energetic stars. Although this could be one of the reasons, that's not necessarily what happened. Usually the place of origin of fast radio burst is like a small neutron star. It is called magnetar. Their magnetic power is 5000 trillion times greater than that of Earth. Magnetars are the most powerful magnets in the universe. Usually, it is because of these that fast radio burst comes out. Because there are gamma and X-rays all around them. High potential electromagnetic radiation is emitted from them, which can go and collide with any planet, but usually it is for a very short time. Scientists have named this fast radio burst as FRB 200428. It has come from Vulpecula constellation. It is believed to have originated from a magneta named SGR 1935 plus 2154. To re-examine it, 
the help of China's 500-meter Aperture Spherical Radio Telescope was taken. This also confirmed the arrival of strange radio signals. More research is needed on this strange signal. What do you think? Comment below and let us know. Also, if you're new here, consider subscribing to our